how to create round corners for your video clip in Premiere Pro. Now, before you click away, hear me out. <laughs> I'm gonna show you something that no other channel, no other tutorial does with this task. Trust me, every single video I've found does the same thing, okay? So what they all do is this. Look, they go ahead and then they go to the Essential Graphics panel, they create a rectangle, they scale it up, then uh, they go into the settings here and then they change this to round to get this round edges, okay? And then they scale it a little more. So many steps. And then you can't even have a clip from your timeline. You have to take one from your project and drop it in here, see this? but you couldn't do it. Let me, let me remove this here. If this was our clip, you could, cannot do it with a clip from your timeline. You get the idea. It's like super tedious. Doesn't make any sense. It I would have to drop the whole clip from the project in here. Okay, I get it. And then go in and then mask with shape. Okay, I got my round edges. <sighs> okay, I don't wanna do this. It's way too many steps, way too tedious. I have to use the original clip. Can't use a clip from the timeline. So here's a much better way to do this. Okay, well, are you watching this? Look, and really go ahead and search for <laughs> Round Corners Premiere Pro. And I promise you, every single tutorial that you will find is doing what I had just shown you and not what I'm about to show you, okay? None of them. Click this, click on mask. Now, hold the shift key, and when you drag, hover over this, you see you could just rotate the mask. See this? Now, when you hold down the shift key, you can actually, guess what? You can scale it. All right, so scale it like so. And the only thing that you need to do now, watch this. <gasps> oh my God, done. <laughs> okay, simple as that, guys. There's probably one more thing. You have to remove the feathering because per default, it's set to 10. All right, okay, one more click, but not 25 clicks, all right? <laughs> have you seen this? And I can do this on any clip on my timeline. Did you see this, how easy this is? One more time, click. That, we don't, we're not gonna count this as a click, okay? <laughs> okay, we'll start, start counting from here. Click. Let's count this as another click. That's the second click. That's the third click. Simple as that. And not creating a rectangle, then give it a stroke. Yeah, it already has a stroke. Click again, set this to round. Okay, and then make it bigger, then drag this whole thing in here, and then click again, and then mask with shape. Oh my God. Okay, and then you would have to extend and add it here if you want to find this, this, uh, the section that you had before, but come on, what is this? And here actually, the other thing that I wanna show you, that I wanna show you, you can actually control the amount of the rounding. Like if you want to have a bigger rounding, then make that mask smaller and just grow this expansion bigger, see this? See how more rounded this is? Or make the mask bigger, like closer to the edge and then decrease this mask expansion. That way you can control the amount of, of rounding, like how big this rounding is. That's all there is to it. That's it. That's the rounding. <laughs> and I promise you, please, when uh, after you watch this video, go ahead, search for Round Edges Premiere Pro. Look at all the videos. I mean, watch time granted. <laughs> Free watch time for them, I don't care. And everybody, is doing this other the other technique with the shape layer and nobody is doing it with this mask expansion. Not one, I haven't seen one video doing this. And if you if you find one that's older than this one, what is it? Uh, January 20th, 2022. <laughs> if you find one that is doing it, please put it into the comments. I really wanna see it, all right? <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. If you learned something new, and I'm sure at least with this video, you learned something new. <laughs> I would bet on that. But uh, thank you for watching. If you learned something new and want to support this channel, please hit the like button because uh, that will help the YouTube algorithm understand that you appreciate this video. I appreciate your time. Thank you for clicking on this thumbnail. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video.